remember how last time we spent ages looking for a trial chamber? And like, you know, we, we did actually find one. It was somewhere down here somewhere and we couldn't use it because it's right in the middle of someone's base. Well, you know, between recordings and stuff, I, I may have just gone on a little adventure with my foot and, you know, just kind of found one. And well... This is it marked out. So just in case you don't remember, or if you're new to the channel, in which case, welcome, I hope you enjoy. The reason why I have been looking for a trial chamber and specifically a breeze spawner within that trial chamber is because we want to use the breeze spawner to make a game. Except, of course, because like trial spawners are fairly rare and stuff and like you, you can't exactly choose where they spawn. It has meant that we have been forced to build this in the, the, let's be honest, less than ideal locations. But to be honest, this actually just gives me a really fun project over the next few days and stuff. And that project is, um, well, it's clearing out this ocean. Oh, I've only just said that out loud. Also, yeah, so if you don't recognize where we are, we are actually in a point which is honestly kind of ideal. Like, it's not too far from the shopping district slash gaming district and stuff. It is just out of render distance of people like Luma's base, and I think Rizzy is over here. Happy campers can't see it and stuff. It's, it's a really good location. But yeah, it does mean to build this massive game, um, we're gonna need to clear all of this out. And we're not just clearing the ocean, we have to dig this down to the trial spawner, which is I don't even know how deep. Anyway, though, so that brings me on to what our actual objective of this episode is, because whilst I would like to clear this ocean, we can't exactly do it immediately. Because, first of all, I don't actually have any of the stuff to clear the ocean, like, I don't know, sponge. But also, this ring is completely detached from the ocean floor, so even if I did entirely drain this, it would just fill back up. So, you know, not that useful. Which means I think that is going to be my first objective today. And I'm hoping that it won't take too long. This is definitely going to take too long, isn't it? And yeah, just sort of doing some basic calculations in my head and stuff. So to make this outer dirt ring, it took around five stacks and 24 bits of dirt. And that was for one ring. I've got to bring it down. What is that? Like maybe 20, 30 blocks at most. But also, there's some shallower areas here. So I think doing the maths in my head comes out to an answer of a uh, lot. So I think my solution here is just go and get a bunch of stone. Like, I, I, I don't care if I get too much or too little. I'm just gonna go and get a bunch of stone. So I guess this means it's about time to go on another mining trip. whoop de doo <laughs> didn't take as long as I thought it would. Genuinely there, I was expecting that to take absolutely ages, but honestly, just like connecting the walls up to the ground and stuff, it only took around two hours. In fact, what took way longer than I expected was putting all of these lines across the top and stuff. Because with the walls taking like two hours and stuff, I was like, okay, this will probably take like half an hour to build a bunch of lines over the top of a circle. As you can see they're not even connected to the ground. You want to know how long that took? Another hour. And that was when I already had all of the resources for it. I don't know why placing these lines took so long. And honestly, it kind of makes me dread having to put sand between all of these lines to drain it out and stuff. Because yeah, if you haven't realized, that is what these lines are for. They're literally just here so that when we get a bunch of sand, I can just sort of walk along this edge and fill up these with sand to make some walls. And then what you do is you just sort of go down here and you drain it 
it all out. Anyway, though, that brings me on to my next problem, which is that I don't have the stuff to drain this out. That stuff being sponge. I don't have any sponge. Let's see, has this lowered in price? It hasn't. Please lower the price. Make it one diamond for three, I'm begging you. It makes so much more logical sense. But anyway, so back on track, I need sponge in order to drain this out, and I don't have any. But of course, there is a well-known location in the game where you can get sponge. Actually, isn't it the only location? There is a well-known structure in the game which you are able to get sponge from, and luckily, there's one right over there. And to the best of my knowledge, no one has claimed it. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure that there would still actually be an Elder Guardian here somewhere. I mean, it looks untouched. So yeah, we're gonna go and raid an ocean monument. Now, I know there's a lot of different methods to raid these things. Some people use doors to breathe and stuff. Others just kind of return to the surface every so often. I do not want to do that. Instead, I would much rather get a water breathing potion, and I'm not entirely sure if I have a brewing stand. Have I got one? Yep, there we go. Knew I managed to get one of these from a village at some point. But the thing is, to get water breathing, you actually need a puffer fish, which is a little more concerning, because something tells me I am not going to have one of those. Yep, I do not have a single one. Side note, what am I gonna get if I chuck this trident in here? Uh, absolutely nothing that I want. Okay, so I think the solution here is to go fishing. Oh, oh, finally. Oh, oh, sorry, Cobb. I, I was watching your video, but like, we're, we're done here now. That took way longer than it needed to. Also, yes, I am aware I could have just gone and stabbed one. I mean, like, look, there's several... That's not a puffer fish. I am aware that there are several swimming around in this coral reef and stuff. It, it felt mean to stab them. They look really cute and stuff. I didn't want to go and just whack one with an axe. But anyway, so yeah, we should be able to make a water breathing potion now. And I need to remember if it's redstone or glowstone that I need to use. I don't remember which one it is that makes it last longer. I also got a nautilus shell during that, which was quite interesting. Okay, right. So put that in there and... Oh. Oh, I forgot this needs blaze powder. Uh, I don't even know where a nether fortress is in this world. Oh, uh, please tell me someone has one somewhere near them. Please? I mean, like, we went to the end and stuff. Someone has to have gotten blaze powder somewhere. Oh, there's one right here. Right, okay. Are there, are there any blazes? Oh, that's a wither skeleton. Okay, right. Can I take these guys out? I just need, like, one bit of blaze powder. There we go. Also, oh, I need nether wart, don't I? Uh, right. Okay. Oh, my gosh. There's so many skeletons. Right. Okay. If I, if I just, like, dig through here... Is there any nether wart visible? Mate, that's not very useful, you being there. Right, it normally appears at the bottom of staircases and stuff, doesn't it? That just terrified the hell out of me. You've got a ghast head on. Uh, right, uh, oh, someone's taken it. Um, come on. Surely someone has left some somewhere. Surely there, there has got to be some nether wart somewhere, please. Oh, no, I don't want to fight you. Come on, please tell me. Uh, this is like the end of the fortress. Is there none left? Did we just loot the entire fortress? Uh, what are the chances I can find another? Like, if I just go in a straight line off in one direction... Okay. Oh, there's a guard. Like, if I just fly off in one direction, surely I, I will spot another fortress, and then hopefully there's some nether wart left in it. D just like this. Okay. I did just see some dirt, though, so someone has been to this one, but maybe there's nether wart left 
left. This one is significantly harder to get inside, though. Okay, right. We're looking for a staircase just like this. There we go. Okay, there we go. We can take that. Soul sand isn't too much of a concern because there's loads of it in the nether. Oh my gosh. Go on, out here. Okay, we're gone. Yep, I I hate those things. Genuinely, I think they are my least favorite structure to explore in the game. I mean, don't get me wrong. They're, they're good. There's nothing wrong with them. I'm just a complete wimp and they scare the hell out of me. Okay, right, hold on. Where does this portal spit me out? In the middle of nowhere. Okay. Okay, wait, you know what? Is not the worst, actually. If I just fly back this way, I should end up back home. And at least I don't have to go through fire, lava, and piglins this time. And look at that. Right. Okay. So, blaze powder goes in there. Where did my axe just go? Okay, it went in there. I thought I brewed it for a second. So, blaze powder goes in there. Then, nether wart in there. And then, I've got to find my puffer fish. There it is. Also, whilst we wait, I am actually going to make some doors just so that I can quickly mine stuff once the elder guardians are dead that is but okay right so we have awkward potions then i think i put the puffer fish in and is it redstone i have a feeling redstone extends the time i'm gonna google this though okay google is telling me that that is correct so there we go that's water breathing and then if i just put the redstone in also i am just gonna go and quickly milk these cows just so that once we have taken out the elder guardians we can actually actually, you know, like, mine stuff. So, right, if I go and take off back to this ocean monument and to where our game is, then I think we're ready. The one thing is, I want to quickly make sure, I am pretty sure no one sells gunpowder. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. It would have been nice if we could get some, just to break into a few areas. Anyway, though, right, I still have my shield. Okay, I thought I got rid of it for some reason. Also, I've just asked someone to tag along. Right, he's somewhere here. But I don't know where. And I'm sat here on top of his windmill. Let's see. I don't see his name tag in the house. I don't see anything in the buildings over there. And I think they're too far away. I don't see him in this house here. And he's, he's definitely not in the windmill. Oh, there he is. And here we see a wild draconic. Oh, no, no. Don't go out of view. Draconis, wait! <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> what timing? <laughs> oh my gosh! Um, hi. So I I have stuff. Uh, maybe not the best prepared for this. I know I came to an ocean monument at some point early in the season, and I raided. Yeah. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the best way to raid these things is. Um, I, I just tend to kind of go in and hope for the best. That's, that's also how I do it. Oh, brilliant. Okay, cool. Right, no. hopefully this goes well. <laughs> I'm in a room with one. Oh, gosh. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, no. How did you get in? Oh, no. I'm below you. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I I, I am in... This is bad. <laughs> Um, I, I went in through the main I entrance think. and then had to swim up. Oh, you're near me. You're near me. I swim um, up. Okay. These things do way more damage than I remember them doing. I see your name to Ah, right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's there's one like through here somewhere. I believe so. Oh gosh. Okay. It does massive damage. Ah no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I've just yeah. realised I didn't. Oh, I never put a spare water breathing potion in my chest. <laughs> oh no. Oh, is it up then? Did you kill the Elder Guardian or is it still there? Yeah, it's sort of dealt with. Okay. Ah, it's above you. Oh, is it? Oh gosh, yeah, it is. <laughs> well, I just killed it, but I didn't get the stuff. Still no sponge. That's a good point. Yeah, there isn't any sponge. Didn't quite realise that. Come on. You're like the easiest boss in the game to get. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I have really no sponge. I, I swear these things always spawn with like two sponge rooms. Well, I guess it is kind of chance. Well, the one I raided at the start of the season, I I just came in invisible and didn't fight anything. So 
Maybe it was this, this one. This could have been it. Huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm also gonna go and I've get that gold. I've them all in my solo world, but I've never actually... Oh, gosh! Them. Oh, no! Oh, no! Ah! Get me up to the surface! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was inside and then my water breathing ran out. Yeah, I think this may be the illusion <laughs> temple you've looted. Um, interesting. How much would <laughs> I have to pay to buy the sponge off you? But, um, if, if you are willing to sell the sponge, I will, I will happily buy some. If not, I need to go and find another ocean monument. Um, I mean, we can go see how much I've got, but okay, I have 24 sponge. Ooh, how much do I have to pay? In fact, could I give you the 20 and keep four for myself? Just, uh, just in case. Sure. Uh, how, how much do you want in payment? Five diamonds. Diamonds, maybe? I will Four take diamonds. that deal. Have you got an ender's chest? Yes, you have, right? Cool. Thank you very much. I can... Oh, that just shot on me. Cool. But yeah, thank, thank, thank you. you very much. And I, I will see You're you very soon. Welcome. Bye. Bye. I'm still in the groove. In Hold the group. on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Draconis is amazing, go and check him out. And as you saw from a little bit of his base there, maybe just like he, he is an excellent builder. But anyway, so we have a little bit of sponge, not the most, but you know, maybe enough to work with. If it's not, I'll, I'll just go and raid another monument. But yeah, with our sponge collected and a bunch of sand already gathered, if he, if you didn't see it there, um, I actually have a shulker box of sand. I collected this like three days ago. I think we are finally ready to get to work draining this, draining this ocean. Oh gosh. And yeah, I'm hoping that these lines weren't just a complete waste of time because essentially what I was trying to do with this is if I just walk across like this, as you can see, look at this, we're just placing so much sand so quickly and I believe this should work without issue because I went through and I cleared all of the kelp and seagrass in this area. So it should theoretically be fine. And yeah, this is, this is the reason why I place these lines because other times I have seen people literally just place it like this and this this just takes an eternity who in their right mind would place it like that when you can just go like this look at this but yeah this is gonna be a very slow and repetitive task so um yeah i'll just see you when it's done i'm not i'm not sad <laughs> even know how to describe what's happened so um it, it's been a few days like i think it's only been two days actually but um as you can see a lot has happened and i'll be honest I didn't plan for this. So you guys need a little explanation for what happened. So after I bought the sponge off of Draconis and stuff, I actually only had 23 sponge. And I was working with that for like a little bit. And then eventually Pug popped online. And something you need to know about actual Pug is that he's just insane. Genuinely, the amount of progress he makes is actually astounding. So I thought to myself, well, if someone is gonna have some spare sponge that I can buy off of him, surely it's gonna be Puck. So, you know, I asked him and he was like, oh yeah, yeah, you can you can borrow my sponge and stuff. Um, Like you, you can rent it for a little bit. And he came over to deliver it and he just started helping. Like, I didn't ask him to help. He, he just did. So it's like I, I literally, like I, I was working with him for a bit, and then he had to log off. So I was working for like another hour or so before I logged off myself. And then I log on the next day, and he's cleared half of the water. And like not only that, he had put all of the sand walls in place. <laughs> And I was like, okay, I, I guess he's just helping with this project now. And then I log on today and he's dug this massive pit. What? What? Like, I mean, I, I appreciate the help and stuff. It's just, 
Uh, what? So, um, yeah, that, that's where our progress is so far. I only expected to have the water cleared at this point. I, I didn't expect to have half of it excavated. But, you know, Pug just, like, he just came along and he just started helping. I literally haven't spoken to him since he gave me the sponge. He's just done all of this without me asking. So, like, I massively appreciate it, but Pug, th th I mean, th you don't have to if you don't want to, by the way. And so, yeah, that that's kind of the explanation of what's happening. And basically, we are much further along than I expected to be this week. I thought we were just going to have the water cleared. I was not expecting to have a pit starting to be dug out as well. And, like, admittedly, it is not dug out much. If you actually actually look at these walls you can see this gravel line going around the edge that is the sea floor so as you can actually see we've only gone down like three blocks from the ocean floor here but also logging on i i noticed that pug has excavated this and this is interesting to me because I didn't know there was a mine shaft here. And as cool as it is, and the, like especially with the fact that it's got the cave spider spawners and stuff. I don't think I can use this because this is way higher up than we actually need for anything here. Side note, I do just want to check the chests. Okay, he did not loot them. So yeah, it's really cool the fact that there's all of this stuff here, but I don't think we can actually use this. Ah, oh, that's cool though. It goes through a geode. But yeah, just to show you how much we absolutely cannot use that mine shaft, if I come over here, there's should now be a hole all the way down to where we need to go so bearing in mind that is the surface up there that is sea level if we just jump down here and like you know we we just keep going through this ocean cave and stuff just like all the way down to it this is where we need to be we need to get all the way down to this y level which is let's just check that's the wrong button it is y level minus 28 and in fact we're probably gonna need to dig even lower just to fit some redstone and stuff so let's go with mi minus 33 so bearing in mind that we need to get to y level minus 33 how far down are we actually we are at 45 so we need to dig this down about 80 blocks oh that is a lot it's taller than the actual game is as well so we're gonna have like a bunch of spare space up at the top but you know i'm not discouraged it just means that we have a bunch of stuff to work on and i guess you guys now have a scale of what we're working on so if it's all the same to you i'm gonna say thank you for watching and i i'm gonna need to get back to work this makes such a fun noise.